Hey everybody, I carries here. Welcome back to the Long Dark, a year in the dark. Episode number seven. Ooh. Sounds cold outside, but we are nice and warm on the inside. So uh, we are preparing to go to Timberwolf Mountain, however, we are waiting for the uh, the the wolf pelts to cure so we can go ahead and make that wolf jacket before we go. Um Part of me wants to go ahead and go now. Um Part of me thinks it's better, you know, because it's I called Timberwolf Mountain for a reason. Um, part of me thinks that maybe it would be better to wait. So I think that's what we'll do. We have plenty of food here, plenty of water, plenty of firewood, things like that. So we're in pretty good shape. No need to rush off. Let's go put this rifle away. Looks like we're suffering some, from some sort of uh, paranoia. But uh, take a peek outside see what it looks like. That's not that bad, at least under the under the awning out here on the front porch. At 19 degrees, not too hateful. Let's take a look around the there's a deer out there. See if we have any any animals around the area. We got a couple wolves out there. Nothing. Nothing too scary at the moment. Part of me wants to get a couple rabbit traps going too. Uh, maybe we should go look at that. See if we have any rabbits out here. I think we do somewhere. They used to be right in this area. They might have moved. Let's take a look at the wolf belts. I've forgotten how much they've cured. I don't think it's been much. I don't think it has been too much. They're, they're curing pretty quick. Alright. Well, good enough. Now, there are a couple places that we can check on our way to Timberwolf Mountain for the hatchet. There is the, um... There's the other little, uh, cellar next to the burned-out house. Sort of like where you start the, um... Oh, God. Ah, uh, what is it? It's the one where the, uh, the bear attack, whichever challenge it is where the bear attacks you. That area is pretty good, and, uh, then we do have the, uh, prepper cache, but, uh, let's go and get us something to drink here. It doesn't look like we're gonna get much to drink. We're gonna need to go re-up on our water supply. You know, I think what we'll do is We'll go ahead and head to Timberwolf Mountain with what we got. Okay, and uh, we'll come back and uh, we'll come back hopefully with a hatchet. There we go. Let me see if I can uh, offload a lot of this stuff. Let me see if I have extra food or if I maybe need food. I don't know. Uh, we're at 53 pounds. I don't want to go with all. I want to go as light as possible because I want to, you know, get some souvenirs. So we're going to need a little bit of food for the road. we got some coffee, which is good. We're going to take a little bit of tea in case we need to heal up. In case we get into a, into a little bit of a scuff, scuffle with something. Um, how are we doing on meds? Let me check the meds situation here. Antibiotics, pain meds, antiseptic, bandage. We'll probably need another bandage. Let's make sure we have two bandages on us at all times. Uh, emergency stim. Yeah, not too bad. Water for purification. I don't really need those. So I think we'll be good. Alright, now let's check out our coat situation here. Oh, clothing, where you at? Are we carrying any extras? No, it looks pretty good. Uh, I did see in the uh, second episode, because I just posted the second episode uh, yesterday. I did see that I, in the comments, I missed the uh, ski boots next to the cupboard back there on the uh, coastal. So, I apologize for that. We got insulated boots, probably not as good as the ski boots, but they're still not too bad. Um, unfortunately, coastal's a little bit too far to go back to. Uh, we might, depending on how, I don't know, we might end up with some, uh, some, uh, deerskin boots by the time we're, uh, we're ready to head over to Mystery Lake, but, uh, uh we might just hold on to these for the duration. Those are pretty good boots. Alright, see what else we got. 
Don't need two sewing kits, so we'll offload one of those. We got too much charcoal. We got three pounds of charcoal. I mean, I guess if we get an upset tummy, we'll be in good shape. But uh, unfortunately, we can't use it for that in this game. Charcoal has a lot of good uses, actually. So, okay, that looks good. We can get rid of the feathers. I mean, it's no big deal, but we might as well just leave it here. Let's go do that. Let's go to our little uh, miscellaneous closet here and um, offload what we don't need. I'll keep a uh, piece of fir wood with me to burn. Maybe I'll get cedar instead. It's easier to light. Let's take one of those and we'll get rid of that. And then a uh, piece of coal, always good to have in case we need to warm up fast. So I think I'll keep that. That all looks pretty good. Maybe one more of these. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, I'll just make uh, I'll make tinder plugs as as needed. Out of just sticks that we find. Um, that looks good. We're gonna need to get a little bit more food. We'll need two of these. Drop one of those. Uh, probably need the pry bar. I'm not gonna carry the charcoal with me. I know I can use it for mapping. Um, I guess I could do a little bit of fishing when we get to the... Uh, it's pretty lightweight. Uh, we could use it to do a little fishing with Timberwolf Mountain if we needed it. There is a fishing hut there. We could do that and work on that skill a little bit. We might find a hatchet at that cabin also on Timberwolf near the uh, the lake cabin there. Um, anything else looks good? Yeah. I think we're traveling just about as light as possible here. Honestly, a piece of cloth always good to have. You can turn it into bandages or repair some clothing if we get into a bad, bad way with uh, our clothes. Okay, I think we're about as light as we can get. 49 pounds. And uh, let's take a look. What time of the day is it? It's almost nighttime, so we're going to spend the night here. Let's go ahead and... Um, well, we're going to fill our bellies. So I want to fill our bellies with uh, some of the... Uh, meat that we have. I think it's this door. There's three doors to get out of this place. So. In case of a fire... Nope, I'm at the wrong side. Must be the door on the opposite side of the kitchen here. This door. Grab a few pieces of meat and uh, whichever ones are in. Amy. Moldy, we'll take that one. We don't want the... F we want the worst off. I think that's about it. We're gonna fill our gut with uh, meat, and if we, you know, I mean, I mean, I don't think we're gonna get parasites just eating four pieces of meat. I mean, I guess we could, but um, we should be all right. So, I'm, how, how tired are we? Okay, we'll just tear this down, get a piece of reclaimed wood. There we go. All right, and we also have that cedar wood that we have. Um, I'm gonna actually use. I don't want to use up the one piece of cedar wood I'm carrying for the the mission. So we're just going to use, uh, it's good to me, get this fire started. Gotta say, it's pretty exciting to get out of here and move on to another area. Just for, uh, even if it's just for supplies and looking for that elusive hatchet. I can't believe it's so hard to find, but... We are having some issues. Plus, we'll probably come across some more ammo along the way, which is always good to have. I think if we're going to make the trick Timberwolf, to, the trek to Timberwolf, I think we should definitely go for the summit uh, because there's just too many valuable supplies to be had up there, including flare guns, which are really good against bears. Um, so it's one thing that will scare a bear away. So, let's see here. Let's go ahead and cook up this meat. It's at 55%. That'll take it to 100% condition. And we'll cook up one more piece. We're going to have to add a little bit more uh, wood to the fire. Uh, let's do the cedar because we're going to need the extra time anyway. Yeah. Might do. Uh, might go grab a couple more pieces of meat. 
Maybe one more from out front. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Let me go grab another piece of meat real quick. No point in wasting it. Yeah, we should be able to get one more piece cooked. Oh yeah, nice and nice. It's actually hot in here. Uncomfortably hot. Okay. Starting to get thirsty. We're going to fill our gut and uh, drink up, and then we're going to get a good night's sleep. Okay, so that's two minutes left. Perfect. Okay. So let's, uh, let's just go ahead and eat what we got here. Eat first. Yeah, it's, it should all be 100%. Yep. 73. <laughs> There's a partial piece there, a couple partial pieces. Okay, so we got that. That's no big deal. That's to be expected. Should be like 4% or something per, per uh, piece of meat, I think. Where's that? 4%. Okay, so that was two bites of, of uh, or two pieces of meat. It was four. So it's 2% per piece of meat. I don't know if a partial piece like this is like a lower percent or not. We'll have to wait and see. Now it should be 6%, right? feels like sandpaper. Yeah. Okay, so it went from four to nine. Huh. How much food do we have aboard? 2,000 calories. Yeah, we're close. Could have probably cooked another couple pieces. But that's okay. And we'll go ahead and go upstairs and get something to drink. 19%. Chance. So. Hopefully, we don't get stuck with worms. All right. So I think we have to take. I think you have to take. It's been a while since I've had worms. <laughs> uh, I think we have to take antibiotics and rest for a while. Take it easy. Hopefully, we don't have to do that. If we do, then I guess we're gonna wait for the uh, pelts to cure. Either way, we can roll with it. Great. Okay, so now, yeah, time to get some rest. Plenty of calories. Oh, that almost worked out perfect, really, honestly. So let's just go ahead and, uh, what's our condition at? 83%? Yeah, let's just go ahead and rest for 10. And we will be at 100% by morning. And hopefully the weather holds. I know it's asking a lot here in Pleasant Valley, but... Yeah. It's a bit windy. We've survived 12 days, 20 hours. So, there you go. Take a peek outside. I know it's not quite... It's it's dawn. It's early dawn right now, so... We'll take a look, see what the... If it's real windy, we can't... Yeah, we can't travel in that. We just can't move, unfortunately. Plus, it might be just too cold. 13 degrees. Let me get out here in the wind. Negative 12. That won't cut it. It's bad temperature to be traveling in. What we want is like, uh, you know, mid-teens or higher in Fahrenheit. Okay. How are we doing here with uh, food and drink? Oh, we could use a little more drink. Let's go ahead and get that. Top that off. Wonderful. 1,800 calories, not bad. We'll find food on the road. I will take a couple of energy bars just to have in hand. And about a half gallon of water. But uh, let's just go ahead and sleep. I feel like things got quiet. All right, a little more bright outside. A little brighter. Okay, let's take a peek. That looks pretty. It's definitely pretty. I'd like to travel in this weather if possible. The wind block. 12 degrees. I'll take it, you know. We'll take it. We'll make it work. Let's uh, stock up on water and... Uh, how are we doing on water? Yeah, we need to stock up on a little bit of water and... Maybe a couple energy bars, something like that. So let's take... Oh, there's a couple energy bars right there, actually. It's a thousand calories. Oh, you know what? Let's take the 
Let's take the lowest condition energy bar here. Hold on, let me do this by condition. Maybe there's something I can make this better. Oh, this energy bar will work. Sardines. Yeah. Okay, we'll take the sardines. Pretty lightweight. And can of peaches. Yeah, we can do that. Hydrates as it nourishes. Okay. And yeah, we're still at 47 pounds. Maybe I'll take one more thing. Hmm. I really don't want to carry dog food. Yeah, let's take that. Okay, let's take a look at our food situation. And we have the steak. We can we can go ahead and eat this. Actually, get it get it out of here. Yeah, it's fifty one calories. Let's see how much this hurts us with the the nineteen percent. Let's just do a little test here. The chance of parasites. That was like fifty calories or so. If it upped us too much, twenty four percent. Oh my gosh. I should just drop that piece of meat. That was not worth it. Wow. Whew, that was a risky piece of meat, apparently. <laughs> that was surprising. So it's not a linear uh, <laughs> a linear amount per... Oh, I didn't even see that piece of cloth there that whole time. Okay. Um, so we got... Did we, get, did we get water? I don't think we re-upped on water. We still need more water. You got water. There you are. That's that'll work. All right, guys, let's get going here. So I'm not the best at navigating this area back here, but I'll do my best nonetheless. And um, basically, I'm just going to go straight back this way and then cross over somewhere. I don't know. Probably one of the safest ways to travel is by the uh, frozen rivers. I know, frozen rivers are pretty dangerous to walk on, <laughs> especially if you're not sure about the ice, the thickness of the ice. But uh, in this game, we're going to go for it. Alright, so let's just make sure that we're not going to stumble upon a wild pack of wolves. And hopefully by the time we get back, our wolf pelts will be all cured and we can make a nice, lovely wolf jacket. And off to Timberwolf we go. So we'll get up here to where this... There's sort of a T intersection with this river and another river. And we'll continue straight. And somehow we make it up to where there's a, a little cellar underneath a burned out house. And I'm hoping maybe we find a hatchet there. Or maybe we find some better clothes, like some better underwear. I think right now the only thing that we're really lacking is some really great underwear. Everything else is pretty, pretty high end. Temp at now? 15. Alright. So, yes, yeah, so we're getting cold at, at a moderate speed. It's not alarmingly fast. I think we kind of go up and around this way, and it's back behind those that rock outcropping there. And then Timberwolf Mountain, the entrance into the Prepper Cache is over that way somewhere. I think. <laughs> We can also warm up here if we need to. 
It'll definitely be a lot warmer than it is outside in this uh, little cellar. It's just like it's it's got the same temperature attributes as the cellar underneath the farm farmhouse. So we have the bedroll, which is always nice to have. Nice to have that bedroll. Be nice if you could craft a regular bedroll in game. Uh, maybe you can. I don't think you can though. I hate having to try to find one and having to find a bed every night. Because some places would be great for laying your head down, but they just don't have a bed. Now this area, I'm not 100% sure about the predator layout. Uh, so we just need to be extra careful. Okay, there's a little sh shack down here I forgot about. And I think... Okay, so there's the barn. Wow, we can see that from here. I didn't know you could even see the barn from here. And I think there's a... Uh, I think back there might be where the burned out area is. We'll stop in this uh, shack. Maybe maybe warm up for an hour or so. There's a deer out here, which is good. Sort of, get, uh, and a rabbit hopping along happily. It's always good to see. Uh, maybe this is where the burned out area is. Let's back up over that hill a little. Where the deer is at. Somewhere around here. Okay, we're gonna stop in here at this uh, little shack. Do a, just a check of the outside, make sure there's nothing laying around for us. A little bonus items. Box of ammo would be nice. Okay, head inside, see what we find. Okay, that's well, a nice warm bed. So that's always good. Let's see here. Search the backpack. Nothing. No surprise. There. Could end up being useful. Worn work pants. I think ours are in better shape. I want to leave those. I'll double check before we leave, though. So that was a 60%. Ooh, that's going to be nice. The warmest sweater around, inspired by the traditional sweater, conceived by the Kowichik can. First Nation on Vancouver Island, Canada. Treat it like an old friend. 46%, but I bet you it's better than what we have on right now. Well, that was a good find. Right there, some trail boots. We're gonna leave those. If we get stuck here, we'll we'll make you we'll we'll shred those down and shred down the pants, uh, and do some repairs if we have to. We also got curtains we can use. Uh, that's quite a bit of cloth right there. Let's take a look here. Let's see what the sweater is for us here. These oh, the wrong one. Here we go. So I think this is gonna be better. Yeah, it's better, and it's not even close to being in as good a shape. So. When we get this thing up to 100% condition, it's going to be really nice. So we're going to head re replace this one here. And, um... That's 76%. Yeah, it's going to be really nice when we get done with it. So, I don't really want to uh, waste time doing that right now. Uh, what I'll probably do is, you know, I'll probably take these. What are my pa what are my boots at? If I, if I get bored overnight, I might repair these. Uh, insulated boots to take. I think I need a cloth and a cured leather. Yeah, I need one of those. So I might take these, break them down in case we get bored tonight and we need to make good use of our time. We can we can do that. So got one sewing kit, right? We do have one sewing kit. I'm 99% sure we do. Yes, we do. Okay. All right. So good enough. Um, anything up here? Nope. Did I miss anything back here? Rifle rounds. I think we're good. Yes, okay. Let's see if we can't go find that uh, that basement. 18 degrees, a little bit warmer. We did warm up quite a bit just hanging out inside. Part of me thinks maybe it's over here. Deer is going, going places. Look at him. I think that's a hay bale or something. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah, that's exactly what it was. Right there's the barn. Yeah, 
Just in case we need to fire. Just in case. Again, the, these and the clothes will be the first things to go if we need to lighten, lighten up the extra clothes that we have to make uh, cured leather and uh, cloth out of there. There's a big old bear over there, you see? In the woods. Working in the woods over there, right there. There's a nice little dilapidated, uh. That might be worth checking. Maybe we'll hit that on the way back. Is that a hunting mine? No, that looks like a tractor or something. Hard to tell. I think maybe I turned the wrong way when I'm looking for this uh, basement. That's okay, because we're going to come across the uh, prepper cache pretty soon. Yeah, I think I did. I think I was really close, but then I turned the wrong way. That's okay. But that's alright, that's alright. Prepper cash is going to the band. The prepper cash is going to have some good stuff in it. Gotta be some birch, birch saplings down there, right? Has to be. A veritable birch forest. I hear something trotting. I think it, it sounds like a deer. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a deer. We'll keep pushing him in front of us for safety. If we can keep him in front of us, he might double back here. Yeah, he's gonna double back. I think our Timberwolf Mountain is that way. Damn. Freezing. We'll move a little faster here. Before we freeze to death. Actually, I just don't want to get hypothermic. Wolf way there, right over there. He might have, he might have teammates. So we need to be careful about that. 
Uh, yep, he's got a trailer. At least one. Make that two. He's got two. Yep, one, two. Okay, we're gonna get up here. We're gonna try to avoid this wolf. Could be a fourth one. It seems like they're traveling in packs of four now. We're just gonna move slow. Pretty sure our entrance is up here. We need to remember when we come out here, there's a good chance there's gonna be four wolves. If this is the entrance, which I think it is. All right, I think we're far enough away. We can probably stand up. back here. We can weasel our way down here. That'd be great. Uh, I'm not seeing a safe way to do it, so let's just double back here. Where this wolf turns around. Stay close. Close to the rocks and far away from him as possible. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I overshot it just a little bit. Not too far, though. Shouldn't be too far. I think it's just up and around this uh, rock here to the right. Well, at least we know where the bear's at, and it's not coming towards us. Oh, it's 27 degrees? That's really not that bad. What I should probably do is start a fire. If I wasn't so close, I'd start a fire and warm up a bit. we go. And there's our rope up to uh, Timberwolf right there. But the most important thing we're going to do is we're going to do a quick peek through this uh, little broken down house and move into the prepper shelter. We have a stove out here if we need it. Not seeing any. Got some wood there. In there. Okay. There we go. Let's get inside. Warm up. Ah, uh, nice. It's our hypothermia risk. Ooh, 34. I think we're okay. Let's see if we can find a hatchet around here. Hopefully. Yeah, we got a hacksaw. What about here? Nothing. Okay, well, let's start. Uh, 
check all the nooks and crannies. Underneath everything. Okay. Well, we do have a bed to sleep in. Nine degree warmth bonus. Let's go ahead and just start searching the lockers first. That'll come in handy. Yeah, we'll just we'll take them. Do the lockers first. Windbreaker don't need that. Don't need that. All stuff we can bust break down for repairs, but Alright, let's go ahead and search these file cabinets. I think I can use this. I skipped one there. Back up, there we go, check that one. Rifle away, don't need it right now. Check under the bed. see anything down there okay what else where else can we check uh i think that's pretty much it really honestly i think that's it not much error we can check this desk desk drawer and this lantern we here pretty good shape actually I might take this and drop my other one we're overweight now yeah go ahead and uh drop this one here Let me pick it up. Why won't it let me pick it up? Which are dropping it. Not sure why. It wouldn't let me pick it up. Okay, whatever. It's gonna stay down there, I guess. Good enough for me. And I had a little bit more fuel, but this one's in better condition. So I think what we do here is it's midday. We're pretty tired. Probably don't want to jump into Timberwolf right now. Probably stay the night here and just do some repairs, things like that. Recover a little bit. Make sure I'm not missing anything on top of any of these, like a nice pair of, you know, ski boots again. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some repairs. See what we can repair. Uh, actually, let's just go here. Sort by condition. These are items that I picked. This is what I definitely want to repair right here. So, going to take to repair that probably two pieces. No, just one piece. Oh, okay. Let's uh, let's give it a shot. See what happens. There we go. That's up to seventy-six percent. Let's see how good this is. I am just really curious. Oh yeah, it's really nice and warm, nice and toasty. That's a pretty good warmth bonus right there. I'm pretty happy with that. Gloves are starting to dry out just a little bit. We're five percent wet. And okay, um, these are eighty-three percent, fifty-one. Let's go ahead and tear these down. So we have the the cured leather from them, and I think you get a piece of cloth too, don't we? Might. Nope, just pure cured leather. Uh, we have other stuff we can break down for cloth. Let's do that real quick, too, while we're here. Uh, don't need the worn jeans, that's for sure. We can uh, harvest those. Also, it's making us nice and tired and and uh, we're thirsty, so we'll go ahead and drink. So we'll be nice and tired for the night. We'll get a good night's sleep. Three percent. Things look pretty good. Good amount of calories. We'll have to eat just a little bit. Sleep through the night. It really kills me to like. I need to. I think. I don't think this is as good as this one. The wait. No, this one. Yeah, I'm, I'm 99 percent sure. This. One. Yeah. Not even close, really. Yeah. Much better. So I want to tear this one down. Oh man. Seems sacrilegious to do that, but I would like to just wear three. <laughs> Can't I just wear triple triple up on my sweaters? Um, all right, so let's go ahead and tear that one down. We will do that. Oh, let's harvest it. 
Oh, you've been good. Been a good sweater. Bye bye. Bye bye now. All right, let's take a look at all of our other stuff. Make sure you keep your clothes in pretty good condition. I don't like anything to really drop below 60%. Um, I figure if I get attacked by a wolf and they happen to hit that piece of clothing, there's a decent chance it's going to maybe completely get destroyed. I don't know what the max damage is a wolf can do on a piece of clothing. But yeah, I, at 60%, I want to start to repair. Because you get maximum benefit from the repair. You're not really wasting. You know, if it's a if it's a 45% repair... Or I should say, if it's a 35% repair, you're taking it up to 95, 95%. So if you if you repair something at 80 and it, and it repairs at like 35%, you're, you're wasting 15% of condition that you could be using. So, all right, these ones, work pants. Let me make sure I'm not tearing. Okay, so these are 87, these are 60. And tear those down too. There we go. Okay. Now we should be good. It's pretty good. And we should be lighter as well. Yeah, much lighter actually. Alright, so is it bedtime yet? Nah, it's still daytime. Okay, what should I do? Not much to really do at this point. We're pretty tired. Too tired to really travel. Uh, and Timberwolf is a bit harsh. So we don't want to go there if we don't have to. Without uh, being 100%. So, can we read? Do we have anything to read? Um, oh, I forgot to get a piece of cedar wood. That's okay. We got some wood out here. I'll grab one more piece there. Should not be a big deal, um, actually. Right, let's take a look at this saw down here, see if it's any better at 84%. I could use this. <laughs> nope. It's not as good. We're going to leave that there. Um, see what else can we do you know what I want to do something here that I have never really done before but I'm going to try to start doing it and it's per the recommendation of one of the uh, comments general notes I'm going to start putting down little things that uh, left 83% X saw in abandoned uh, Cash. Pleasant Valley. There we go. Good enough. So, get, how do I take more notes? Can I? Okay, so I just basically have to. I can't really bullet these or put ones and twos or anything like that, so. I guess I'm just gonna do that and start a new thought that'll indicate you know different locations so I'm gonna start doing this so that I know like if I get into trouble and I need a hacksaw you know hey I know where to find it but I don't want to haul the thing around either I don't even need to put left actually let's try to be as concise as possible okay there we go okay Okay, so we can go back now. Let's just double check, make sure it's there. There we go. Perfect. Alright, starting to get a little dark. Do we have books? I don't think we have anything we can read. I think we've read everything. Yeah, we don't. Hmm, that's too bad. And we're going to come back loaded to the brim from, uh, from the plane crash up there on the summit. So... We won't be able to pick that hacksaw up. He's looking pretty good. Yeah, I don't have any problems with anything at this point. We, we're just going to have to kill some time, honestly. So, let's do that. Just pass about three hours here. Going to kill our calorie count, fortunately. Could go around and break up. Hold on, you know what? I could. Let's just. I don't think I can do this. I can. I can bust it up. Let's break that up. Let's see if there's anything down there. Might as well get some use out of our calories. 
There we go. Let's pull out our not our not our rifle. Not our flare. But our storm lantern. See if there's anything hidden see. hidden under these. That's what I was doing. Anything hidden down here? No. Nope. That was the uh, Oh well, we got some extra firewood if we need it someday. Um, okay, let's turn that off. Probably turn I'll probably break this one up here. Uh, let me get a little something to eat. Yeah, no. No, we're okay. Feels like an empty pit. Our condition isn't gonna drop that fast where we can't recover it overnight, so let's just uh, not waste any calories. Let's just bust this down. Ooh, sounds cold out there. Not so cold in here though. Alright, let's light it, see if we got anything under there. Nope. So tired. Just a newspaper that's on the floor now. Okay. Well, we're nice and tired. And we killed a little bit of time. So, unfortunately, it took me an hour to figure that out. So let's eat. We'll do an energy bar and some sardines. Yeah. That'll work. This will get us through the night. Getting hydrated by sardine juice. <laughs> How gross. Okay. And let's get a drink. Now I'll drop I'll drop my reclaimed wood here. I've got too much of that. Keep one piece. Down to 54 pounds. Yeah. We need to. We'll drop this. This wood right here. What else we got? Are we carrying anything else that is really not needed? Eh, pretty good. Not bad. Okay. I'm happy with that. And we are... We have enough calories and we have enough drink on board. We are ready to sleep. Let's go 10 hours. Hopefully the storm passes. Alright, almost 14 days. So we are... Take a peek up here. Do a little Puxatani Phil. Soon. little Puxatani Phil impression here. It's pretty cold out here. Zero degrees. But we don't have that far to go. I think we just go for it. Let's move. We can do this. You know what? Let's 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 bed down. If this is going to turn into a blizzard, I don't want to get caught in it. You know, there's no rush. We got food. We got you know. We can always go hunting if we have to, which we won't need to. We got plenty of water, plenty of firewood, plus firewood out by the stove and everywhere. I mean, everywhere there's firewood. So there's no need to go rushing off into some sketchy, possibly getting worse type of conditions, you know? I mean, it looks like it might be transitional. So let's just sleep here for an hour. And then I'll... Yeah, see, I need to... I need to drink. I see that. I can hear you yelling at the screen. I got you. Prototype is still working. It didn't take any condition hits yet. No, we're still good. Still 93 calories on board. What time of the day is it? It's almost... It's mid mid morning. Sounds like the wind sort of calmed down a little bit. At ah, 17 degrees and it's not as windy. I think it was a good idea to wait. All right, let's head up the rope here and get into Timberwolf. Funny thing is, without that hatchet, I'm not, I'm not really self-sufficient because it's really hard to collect enough. Nah, I guess you could collect sticks and make water, but it's so much better just to be able to chop up a big limb or something. That's not really a limb; that's like a branch, but a big limb and get a bunch of fir wood or a bunch of cedar wood from it, and be able to just cook up, you know, five gallons of water every every week or so. It just feels so much better to be able to do that. So we shouldn't run into any predators along this route. I'm just going to go ahead and run it. I don't even know. It kind of feels warm, actually. 19 degrees. Not really, not bad. I guess I'll take it slow. 
No need to run. I don't feel the weather changing anytime soon, so... For those of you that don't know, whenever you see down branch or downed uh, trees like that, and the tip of them are pointing somewhere, it normally means there's a, a location of interest. So it's sort of like pointing you towards something that is worth looking at, either a cave entrance or, in this case, a transitional area. All right, here we go. Timberwolf Mountain. And you can see this one up here is kind of pointing you down the same path as well. see what the temperature is over here it's the same it didn't change that much in the last couple hundred feet Hello, Timberwolf. Alright guys, so I'll show you the uh, ultimate objective here. For those of you that have not seen Timberwolf before, there is a plane crash right there, and that is the tail section of the plane right there. We are going to get up there. Eventually. I'm not going to do it today. We can get up there eventually. Probably spend a, 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 a day down here uh, just sort of exploring this area a little bit. I don't really like getting too lost in the back 40, but uh, we're going to go to the cabin first, see if we can find a hatchet there or anything else. There is a bear on this map. He, t he tends to stay over in this area here, but he does wander a little bit. Um, a little bit behind these mountains up in this area, for the most part. Some birch bark on the ground, good kindling, lots of flammable oil in it. Feels like 12, starting to drop, starting to drop. Clouds make me think a storm is maybe going to move in, but that's okay. We're very close to a, a cabin here. Uh, it's not an indoor loading area like uh, oh, there's a rabbit here, so I think we're okay. Cross. It's not a it's not a loadable interior, so it, you got to keep it warm. Uh, you can you can freeze to death in this cabin, so you need to be able to have wood. Uh, the best place if you don't have any means to gather wood. Isn't isn't the cabin in the bed? It's it's actually you got to go up and find one of these caves, and then stay inside the cave if you have a sleeping bag. So uh, they they do stay above freezing all the time, so you don't have to have a fire to stay warm in those caves. So right there's another. You can see the back of the fuselage there, sort of torn. It's torn open, and there's a bunch of goodies in there. And we'll go up here. There's typically, yep, there's the wolf, the lake wolf right there. A couple of them. A couple of them. Make that uh, two. And we got a deer over here. I should say there is a bear that comes through here as well. And then that's where we can do some fishing if we want. Uh, let's take a look here, see if we can find a hatchet. Ah, oh, aha! There she is. That's what I was hoping for. All right. Technically, we could turn around and uh, leave right now. Climber's Journal. So if you guys want to read that, you can. I'll actually make it like this. Um, I've already read it several times before, so you guys can read that if you want. Take it. Maybe we'll burn it later. I don't know. Another. This will come in handy. Another hacksaw. Let's see if it's higher than forty. Uh, nope, not higher than eighty-four. Field dressing your kill. That'll be worth reading. Another whetstone. We'll take that. 
That's all maintenance stuff that we're going to need for the long term. Another storm lantern, where are we at? 51%, we're going to leave that. Another flare, we'll leave that. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Don't need that. Don't need that. Bunch of firewood. Kind of hook you up here if you if you come in here and things are rough. This is a little vest, I think. Yeah, we're going to leave that. little down vest. Okay. Mounting rope. Uh, we'll probably... We might actually take that. Because then we can drop it. 58. Don't put us overweight, though. We can do that and leave some stuff here. Maybe. Simple arrow. We'll take that. Okay. Any hooks up here that I'm missing? No. Okay. But we did find our hatchet, so that was nice. Sort of, uh... Helps us with the last part of the puzzle there. Um... We'll go down here and check the uh, dock. Sometimes there's something worthwhile in a dock. Right up here. Normally it's a hatchet, so now that I found a hatchet, I don't expect there to be one here. Alright. And sometimes there's good stuff inside the boats. Yeah, like, uh, like a hunting knife, a fishing tackle. Always check your fishing boats. Okay, so what's the temp down here? 12 degrees? I think what we do is we go up here and find ourselves a little uh, cave to stay in for the night. Then we move, you know, then we move on up, try to make it up to the summit. Uh, let me offload what I don't want here at the cabin for this trip. And I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably warm up a little bit in here, get a fire going, warm myself up. What time of the day is it? We're still good. We're still good on time. Okay, so let me grab a couple cedar woods. Let's start this fire. Warm up. Dump the things that we don't need because we're going to be... We want to go as light as possible up to the summit without dying. Because there's lots of souvenirs to be had. We'll also make a pretty decent list of, of what's up at the summit in case we... Uh, Need to leave some things behind. That right. did it. Nice, nice job there. Okay. What I think I'll do here is I will probably. Hmm, how do I want to play this? There will be food, plenty of food up there, probably MREs and things like that, so I'm not too worried about that. And we have plenty of food here, you know, for the immediate time being. Okay, well, let me think here for a minute. Might take a while. We got a piece of coal in case we get super cold. Clothing well, looks good. Starting to get a little low on the pants there. Probably do a repair on those pants. Calories, 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 calories. 100, 100. And then water to drink. We're going to need a little bit more water. So I'm going to go ahead and boil up just a little bit more. There we go. And that'll also allow us to warm up a little faster. Yep, let's boil it up. Probably take, uh, I think it's going to take about a half hour to repair these pants. Let's try it. Let's see what happens here. They're at 60%, like I said. I don't want to get too low. 26 minutes. Let's just do a repair on it. There we go. How we doing sleep-wise? Not bad. Okay, how we doing on weight? 4 pounds, too heavy. Too heavy for the traveling. So let's move over here. Drop what we don't need. We don't need this many matches. What did I drop? Drop something. Not sure what I dropped. Did I drop magnifying glass? Yeah, I did. I don't want to drop the magnifying glass. Of course, I don't need it for the trip up there. 
But I really don't want to let go of it in case for some reason I can't make it back here. We're going to keep that. That's too valuable. Don't need that piece of wood. Got some sticks. Don't need that piece of wood. I'll keep the coal. Now that we have a hatchet, we can pretty much gather what we need on the road. Need all of that. I need all of that. I need all of that. Don't need this. Don't need two knives. Get rid of the lesser knife. Do need a hatchet. Don't need a hacksaw. There'll probably be hacksaws up there, actually. There normally is a couple of them. I'll need four of these. Actually, I don't need any of them at the moment. I don't need that. At the moment. Don't need that. So we're down to 57 pounds. That's not bad. Not the greatest. Uh, I'm going to drop the cloth. And the leather. Now what? I'm going to let go of these as well. Down to 53 pounds. I feel better about that. Part of me wants to take the rope because I could drop it on the way up. So we're going to do that. This stuff will come in handy. We can drop that on the way up. So we're not going to be overweight. Don't worry about that. And we're starting to get a little tired now. Um, which means that by the time we get to... Hmm, by the time we get to the rope first place we got to climb, we're going to be too tired. Could drink a coffee, but I kind of would rather save that. Hmm. You know what? Hold on. Let me do. Let me do this real quick. Grab a couple of sticks. I might go do some fishing. Come here, embers. Let's take that. I could do a little reading as well. Um, I might do a little reading inside the cat inside this little hut here, fishing hut. But I'm gonna use this to light the. Uh, Oh, hold on. I need I need some more wood for fishing. Grab a couple of these. This pack is getting kind of heavy. There we go. Let's get a fire going here. That way I don't have to use another couple percent of my fire striker. I think there is a door on this one. Nope, there is no door. Oh, nice. Lovely. Alright, let's get this going here. Let's use the torch. Percent. Let's do this. And then we can do a little fishing. That's the idea. And I forgot the fishing line. It's I dropped all the fishing line in there, didn't I? I'll run back there, grab that, and then come back. That'll be alright. This will still be burning. I would just like to catch a fish and have fish for the night and not have to dip into our uh, food right now. Don't have to worry about parasites with fish or deer or rabbits. There we go. Okay, wonderful. Let's throw that up here. There we go. All right. And I'll search this when I get back. Yeah, I'll throw that down. Right, let's go get the fishing line. running right into the headwind there. Okay, fishing line, where are you at? I don't have to pick all you guys back up. I see one right there. There it is. Fishing tackle. Too heavy. Okay. Well, I'll drop all that stuff when I get back. I'm not too worried about it right now. We have a book to read. We got some fishing to be done. Over here. I'm 
looks like it's that cold out. Yeah, 22 degrees. Not bad. Got the little smoke coming out from it. The fire's going. Like that. Little lines of smoke. How we do it here? Three hours. Yeah, nice. Okay, let's hatchet this thing open. Can I use a pry bar? Ooh. Let's use the hatchet, though. Because we can repair the hatchet. We can't repair the pry bar. We can always make a new hatchet, also. We have to at a forge. Uh, so. Might need to do that later. Alright. Uh, hours to fish. Let's do... Uh, What's the temp in here? Should be plenty warm. There it is. Let's do two hours. We are a novice fisherman, even though we've never fished before, so. There we go. 473 calories. Rest soon. Uh, okay. Did I break the line? Is that what happened there? Let me check. Did I just break my line? I missed it. There was a message that came up. Yeah, it looks like I broke the line. Uh, we can do another hour here. Oh, we got over a thousand calories right there. Come on, give me another fish. Now we're stinky-ish. Good stuff. All right, pretty happy with that. I'm gonna grab a grab a torch, and then we need to search this, these real quick. Up there, nothing up there. No rifle rounds down here anywhere? Nope. Okay. Let's get out of here. Just in case these wolves come after me, which looks like they might. They might. They're coming. They're they're sort of coming this way. too tired to run, so this is my max speed right here. I might have to fight them off with a gunshot. Yeah, see, they're going straight to there, and then they're tracking where I walked. So I wonder if they're going to come right up to my doorstep. We sh we're going to see here. We shall see. Yeah, they're, they're going the exact route I took because of my stinkiness. Okay, they looks like they broke off. Alright, definitely need to get a drink and all that stuff. It's getting dark out here. Okay. Time to look for shelter. 51 degrees in here, not bad. So, let's uh, get something to drink. And I didn't have a chance to cook that, so I can always cook it now. Uh, which I'll probably do. Do I still have... Okay. Shouldn't take that long to cook these fish. Let me break these up. Let me break this up here in case I want to have a little bit extra time to cook the fish. Great. Bust this up here too. There we go. And we're 87% condition. We're fine. Still nice and warm in here. Don't need any more. We'll bust this one up too. Good stuff. And we still have a couple, at least one piece of wood right there. And we can always go and harvest more behind the cabin. There's some nice areas to harvest. So we should be fine. And we're going to use a stick to get it started because if you look at the uh, chance of success, it's higher than that. So it's a much better chance. So start, start it with one stick and then move over to whatever you know you need to burn. We can drop that. I don't, we need that. Don't want to burn that for sure. Even though it has a really high chance of success. Not ready to burn it. I haven't read it yet. So, let's go ahead and burn this thing. Oh, I'm, at, I'm way over time here. I just looked over at the clock. I, I'm over, almost 10 minutes over my hour mark. So, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, get this fire started, cook up some of this fish, and uh, that'll probably be the start of the next episode. So, we'll see if the fire gets started. If so, great. And uh, I'll. Uh, Bid you adieu. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that tip jar. What am I talking about, tip jar? Oh my god, how old is that saying? <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification. That did it. Hit the notification uh, bell.
you guys uh, want to be notified whenever I post new videos. Disregard the tip chart thing. I don't have that anymore. So, I'll see you guys in episode 8. And we're here on Timberwolf Mountain. We're going to see if we can summit in 8. Hopefully we can. Y'all take care.